I'm Rick Fears, sound designer and author of the Sound Effects Bible, and this is Road University. <laughs> you look so cool. Eyes right, cut. Today we're going to talk about voiceovers and ADR. It's important to understand that they are not the same thing. In fact, both require a completely different approach and use different mics altogether. Let's start with voiceover recording, also known as VO recording. VOs are off-screen announcements and narrations that are typically scripted and recorded separately from the production. The actor delivering the line is usually called a voice actor or VO artist. When recording VOs, you want to have a large diaphragm condenser mic. Rode has many mics that fit this description. Shotguns are often used for voiceover work as they can add presence to the voice that helps them cut through the mix. Today we're going to focus on the NT2A and the NT2000. The NT2A is a dual diaphragm large condenser microphone with a polar pattern switch that allows you to choose from Omni, Cardioid, and Figure 8. It has a three position high pass filter and pad. The NT2000 has the same features as the NT2A but with a variable pattern high pass filter and pad. It also comes with an SM2 shock mount. So let's head over to Studio D and put these mics to work. We have the NT2000 ready to go in the VO booth for our session. We've used this mic on hundreds of radio and TV spots. It has a warm rich tone yet retains the clarity of the high end. This allows you to track a voice and still have the flexibility to EQ the voice to taste after the fact. When setting up for your session, a good starting point is to zero out the controls on the mic. Start with the cardioid pattern. Disable the high pass filter and switch the pad to zero. Have the VO artist give you a level test from the script to help you determine if you need to adjust any of these settings. Now let's head into the booth and open up this mic. If you're after a VO with some punch, start with the mic about 4 to 6 inches away from the mouth. For a more natural sounding voice, keep the mic about 12 to 18 inches from the talent. It's very important to use a pop filter in front of the mic to reduce plosives caused by words with P's and B's that tend to push a large amount of air that can overload the mic. Now let's switch to the NTG3. As you can hear, there is a very different sound to the shotgun mic. Experiment between the two different types of microphones to see which one works best for your project. Now let's jump back to the NT2000. If you don't have a VO booth to record in, find a quiet room or closet and hang some blankets around the mic. A better solution would be to use sound blankets, known as furniture pads. They're denser than regular blankets and will help absorb more of the room's reverb. Now let's head back to the equipment room and talk about ADR recording. ADR stands for Automated Dialogue Replacement, and it's the process of re-recording unusable production dialogue. The challenge is recording in sync with the original dialogue while still maintaining continuity in the soundtrack. There are two keys for successful ADR. The first is microphone selection. The choice for the mic to use has already been made for you. You should always use the same microphone as was used by the sound mixer on location. The biggest mistake you can make as the recordist is to use the most expensive mics and preamps that you can find. This will only result in a soundtrack where the ADR sticks out like a sore thumb. The goal of ADR is simple, to match the rest of the dialogue in the scene. For positioning, you should start by placing the mic at the same distance from the talent as was used on the set. The second key to successful ADR is performance. The actor needs to seamlessly replicate the performance that was shot on location. This is harder than it sounds as oftentimes this stage in post-production can take place weeks, months, or even years after shooting. Sometimes you'll need to get creative with the recording sessions. If the scene has the actor running down an alley, have the actor run in the booth to maintain the same energy as it was in the scene. So let's recap. Voiceover recording is more about delivering high quality voice tracks, whereas ADR recording is more about the art of syncing and matching production dialogue. In either case, be sure to have your session prepped and ready to roll before the talent arrives. Remember to have water on hand and try using crackers to calm stomach growls from hungry actors. Be sure to save your sessions often and always check playback before the client leaves. I'm Rick Veers and I'll see you next time at Road University. Until then, make some noise. <music>